So the sale piece of this is a very attractive story to media reporters. And, and we're starting to see this story get picked up in the national media, not just on like sports media, even even Hollywood media. Uh, there was a podcast that I listened to uh, frequently called The Town with Matt Bellany, and uh, his his guest was Lucas Shaw. Uh, Matt, former editor of uh, The Hollywood Reporter, Lucas writes for Bloomberg, so these guys are in the know. And they did an entire show based off of who the possible buyers would be. And, uh, you know, out of all of those companies, what what which of those companies do you think are are the companies that you would predict to probably be you know on the priority list when it came to buyers uh i i would say as far as a a like a media conglomerate i would say comcast nbcu for sure um the you know a lot of people are leaning towards disney and i don't see see it being disney considering that they're, they're looking to offload espn uh i i can't i i don't i have a hard time with disney but you know to me comcast makes the most sense considering they're they're very intertwined with them and comcast is paying them a tremendous amount of money they have a tv rights deal happening uh they want to most likely get all the properties so Right now, they're paying them 240 or so million dollars a year for Smack, uh, for Raw, plus another 200 million dollars a year for Peacock, uh, plus they're paying for NXT, and they will pay, you know, whatever that Fox deal is, 300 million or so for um, for for SmackDown. You're looking at a billion dollars a year almost. You know, it kind of makes sense for you to kind of look at this and say, well, the company's evaluation, even if it's at like $109 a share, it's still under $10 billion. We could recoup that cost in, you know, six years or so. We're, we'll save money on the TV rights. The ad revenue is directly to us. There's no kind of rev split at all. Uh, but at the end of the day, will Vince McMahon be in charge? And who will they put in charge of that brand? If they go with an Endeavor, or they go with a sovereign wealth fund like the Saudis or Qatar, most likely they would keep everything in place the way it is. And we saw Dana White's situation. You know, they weren't quick to, you mm -mm. know, slap Dana's hand. Uh, I, if they go private, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I've always lead, led with Peacock being, NBCU being the, the, the thing that makes the most sense, especially with the universal property, right? Mm-hmm. TV, movie distribution, television distribution, and amusement park. That's a missing sure. element that WWE has wanted for a very long time. I've had conversations with people at WWE over the years. They've considered some sort of Vegas residency. They've considered amusement parks over the last decade or so. You know, their IP is, is tremendous. You know, how about an Undertaker roller coaster? An Undertaker <laughs> haunted house? I mean, I know it's <laughs> stupid to say that, but I mean, this really makes a lot of sense. If you tie it in properly, uh, I don't think Endeavor is going to get you that. And I don't think a, 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 you know, the Saudis will get you there. But if you're if you're looking at the value and who has cash on hand, uh, you know, if the Saudi and also overpaying. Right. I don't think Peacock yep. is going to pay ten billion dollars for this thing. I don't think Endeavor is going to pay ten billion dollars for this thing. But, you know, who might the Saudis might. OK, so here's another question. Now, the re like what you said about Comcast, the reason why you kind of put them in the forefront is because they are already paying so much money for the license uh, to, for, for the television shows. But as we know, cable and DirecTV, th those subscriptions are, are, are dropping fairly quickly, right? So is that what they're paying for whatever they if they buy the company like you're saying oh you know you may recoup the the investment but what happens if tv rights fees for wwe goes down in five years or in 10 years because cable is just not not what it used to be and it, now it is more streaming and they still haven't you know and maybe they hadn't haven't figured out how to exactly monetize that in the best way i just think the future of the rights in of itself is really murky and so i'm not sure that comcast just going head over heels and saying no we're just going to pay for this because you know we're already investing so much money in just the, the television show 
that that is something that is a little I, I would be worried about that a little bit. It is unanswered. Now, the the only thing that I can compare it to is the NFL. And we know the NFL is king, right? Out of the top 100 shows on cable TV all of last year, 2022, something like 82 of them were NFL games. And NFL, I think that I think their TV deal, they signed it for like 11 years or something. And and if you think about how valuable they are to that ecosystem, you would think we're going to sign a shorter deal and then in 5 years we're going to come back and and then we're going to get double. Like that's just how it's been working, right? But they signed a super long deal and I don't I don't know no one has said anything and I haven't really read anything on it. But I kind of wonder if the reason they did that is because they are foreseeing the cable numbers going down, 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 and they weren't going to get into a spot in five years where maybe they weren't going to get double like, like they used to. And so they sort of invested in the idea of we're just going to go long term with this next deal and and yeah. and worry about that, you know, when it gets here. But so that's kind of my, my thought. Have Do you do you have any thoughts on, you know, wh whenever this bubble is is going to burst? Well, it, it really comes down to, you know, I, it, I'm going to backtrack a little bit, right? Because I'm seeing a ton of this and Steven, Steven in our chat room is bringing this up and, and tons of other people. They brought up Amazon and, and, and you know, uh, Amazon and Apple. Generally, Amazon, Amazon Apple comes and up. Google, are, Google are always going to be involved here. here. Here's the reality, okay? And this is, I come from an ad sales background. You cannot generate the ad sales for digital that you can with network or, or cable television. It's not near it yet and and i listen viewership consumption that's great and you and i both know this we we you know uh you're you're in the digital space and so am i i've sold digital ads for the last decade and a half you cannot get the same amount of view uh of ad revenue ad dollars that you can on cable because amazon for all that they do oh there's, there's multiple parts here one uh peacock benefits from having WWE on their property because it brings more people to them, right? At least a million people. A Amazon already has your money. Most people already have Amazon Prime, unless Amazon is looking to launch another service, which I don't think. I know they're looking to split off their sports, yeah. but it's not going to be a separate, you know, monthly fee for that. Right. Amazon also does not have the same institution in place that Peacock does or Fox does or Paramount does to sell ads and have the metrics to back it up. Yes. Cable is king still. I, I And listen, I, I'm one of those people 10 years ago said cable will be dead in 10 years, and I was wrong because ad revenue generates everything. First run sports is still king on, on cable. Uh, there the, And the, the, the NFL is getting more money than ever for ads. WWE is probably, I would say, Fox is... You know, I don't have the exact number, but when I spoke to someone at Fox, uh, when when they went over, they said, I said, well, how, how, what are the ad pricing? You know, how are you guys selling the ad? Because it all comes down to, you, you know, you're paying them $300 million a year or whatever they were paying them. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, whatever that number is. Um, how much are you spending on that 30 second ad on Fox, you know, Fox Network to make sure the money is even? What was said to me is that they make a profit but they're closer to make breaking even than making like, oh my gosh, look at how much money we're making off the show. Right, right. So if that's the case with Fox, and I'm sure that's probably the case with USA where they're, you know, they're, they're making money for sure. They're not losing money on this show. I don't think Amazon's going to be able to do that. Amazon's probably going to be at a loss when it comes to selling the ad revenue, and that's where you're going to make your money. So, okay, I, I agree. The rights deal is important. Uh, if you're a private, if you're a private firm, and and it's important if you're a network established brand, uh, to to kind of continue continue with the ad sales and continue with your you know secondary uh, platform that you're putting them on like Peacock, but it, I I can't see it being Amazon or Google or, or Google or or Apple to make money with this. I don't think they okay. they'll be able to. I agree with you a hundred percent today, right? But hmm. in today, not five years from now, not 10 years right. from now, I'm talking about in today. five yeah. years from now, that could change. Now, here, here are some of the, the reasons why Apple is basically investing in or they, they already 
paid for the rights to the MLS. And so they're going to have all of the MLS's games. Um, so there, that's sort of a test. Though I think that's going to be a little bit of a subscription model. But there are breaks in games where you do have to show ads, right? So there's going to be something there. The uh, The Amazon deal with the NFL this year was kind of that test, right? They need to build out an ad network if you if if they're going to get into the live sports. Same with Netflix and all these other companies. If you get into live sports, you have to build out an ad network because you you're not your sports are just not this uh you know the in the timeouts you don't just go on the field and listen to what the players are are talking about. There's nothing happening, so there are natural stoppages for for ads.